Right, so this is just uh, another quick Android video. What I'm going to go through is the image resolutions. So if you're used to iOS development, you know that you have retina and non-retina images, pretty much. So in Titanium, if you're making an iOS app, you would have an image that is the exact pixel size, and then you would have an image with at 2x at the end, and this would be for Retina. So this would be for your iPhone 5, um, the iPhone 4 as well. But on Android, it's a little bit more complicated than that. <coughs> Sorry, they have um, Al DPI, M DPI, H DPI, X H DPI, and X X H DPI. It's a bit weird, but yeah. So so they have them. And um, when I started doing these apps I'm doing at the minute for Android, I couldn't really find a definite way of creating an image for different device sizes. And even though they say we'll just use low um, LDPI folder or the HDPI folder, I couldn't find anything that really said specifically the ratio between these sizes. So what I did is I've come up I haven't come up with something, but I've got an Illustrator file that I've been using now. And what I've found is that the actual pixel size is normally the MDPI. Okay? So let's have a look at this um, Illustrator file here I've got open. So what we see is there's just five boxes. One, two, three, four, five, right? The original size is the pixel size, the actual size you want your image to be. So that's MDPI. So the AL DPI I've found is you want to scale this down by 75%. A real easy way of doing this is in uh, Photoshop. Open up your image and then just scale it. In um, image, then you go to the size and you can click percent and you can just scale it but yeah it doesn't matter I'm not going to go through that because this is just more about the principle of it so you've got your original size then you have the 75% is the LDPI then what you've got is the HDPI it is 133% bigger than this okay then here what you've got is the XHDPI and this is 125% bigger than this one. Okay? Then we have the XXHDPI, which is here, and this is 133% bigger than the previous one. So the best way of doing it is start with your original, then well, I say start with the original because that's the exact pixel size. So you start with that, and then you want to make one that is 75% the size of that for our DPI. HDPI, you want to go up 133% of this original size. Okay, so that's HDPI. Then for XHDPI, what you want to do is you want to go up from here. 125%. For X, X HDPI, you want to go 133% bigger than this one. Okay? And it, se it seems a bit mental the way I'm probably saying it, but this, this is working perfect. I've got five devices, all, well, they're pretty much all different screen sizes, and it seems to be working quite well. So, then you think, well, where do you put these images? Because unlike iOS where you would put at 2x at the end, in Android you don't, you just you just give it the file name. So obviously these all can't be in the same folder. So what I'll show you at is um, the image folder structure. Give me a sec. So here is my directory for this um, Android app. And what we have is, you go into resources, we have an images folder, but we also have an Android folder. And if we go into Android, you'll see we have an images folder within there. 
So here we go. Here are our LDPI, MDPI, HDPI, XHDPI, and XXHDPI. Right, so there is a kind of alternative. You do not have to do this. This is the recommended way, is literally exporting an image for each density. But what you can do is you could bin that off altogether and just use this images folder in resources, images. And all you need to do is put one file in there and then the app will go to that. If you were going to do that way, <coughs> what I would suggest is creating the image in the largest size. So I'd maybe create an image in this XXHDPI size, put it in put it in this images folder, and then let the app do the work. I mean that is not recommended at all, but you could do that. If you didn't want to go through the hassle of exporting five images every time, then you know you can do it that way. But I would say get Illustrator. I know I mentioned Photoshop earlier, but that way is probably harder than this. This is uh, this is the best way I think. Get Illustrator, create five artboards for each image, and I know it's annoying because if you have an image that's a different size to so what's that? That's three twenty by eight four. Say I have an image that's a button and it's a square button. It's like that. Then I've got to work out is it's going to be different sizes. So you're going to end up with loads of artboards. I mean, the one that I'm using at the minute has I don't know, a 40 odd or something in there. But it's just, I don't know, it's up to you.